welcome back, Manuel. Uh, this is, I always say, one of my favorite questions. And because um, I tell a brief story, I remember when my grandfather, who was from Kiev, when I was like five or six in Montreal, used to take me for walks in the park. And I said to him, call him Zeta, I said, Zeta, how do you know all these people that you're talking to? And he said, I don't, I didn't know any of them. I just smiled at them and then they smiled back at me. And then yeah. they started talking to me. So I talked to them and now they're all friends. And, you know, I understood it, but I really understood it more as years went by, how basically brilliant it was mm -hmm. to be kind and to engage and so on. So, um, and how you influence people and influence and people influence you. So with that, can you share with us two or three people that have been influential in your life? Sure. I guess, you know, my dad was the first person to influence me. You know, he's 72 now and has always been a great example of what it means to be a hardworking man, keeping everything simple and enjoying life to its best. He's really good at that. He's always happy and always enjoying life. And I think that's, uh, that's something that I really, uh, you know, look after. And I would say the second will be a couple of teachers I had had in Japan while I was in college there. Uh, you know, their deep respect for nature, the elders, and life amaze me. Today, the green agenda is very popular around the world. And to keep it simple, it's all about taking care of the planet. Back in those days, no one would talk about this. However, you know, they were always talking about the importance of nature and respect, which is probably, you know, one of the reasons of why I see things this way. That's I, I, I guess those, you know, those two will be probably you know, on the top of the list. Now you're supposed to say my kids, they influence me all the time. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, I, I think yeah, that, that's for sure. I mean, it's, uh, it's fantastic just to be able to spend time with them. But um, I was just uh, thinking on, on these two, uh, you know, right off the bat. No, I get it. So I'm going to ask you a question that usually gets um, interesting answers. If you could meet anybody that you haven't met ever or have dinner with them, dead or alive, is there someone on the top of the list? Uh, Nelson Mandela. Good choice. <laughs> There's a leader who cares. That's exactly. Cool. Exactly. And I think that his story is amazing. It is. Um, thank you so much for sharing that. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Yeah, you too.